if you're anything like me, you get into these ruts where you build the same thing over and over and over again, now you have the same blue suburban house 50 times, and you need like a burst of inspiration for a Sims build. Yeah, so I made this video a couple times where I used a random word generator to decide what to build in The Sims. And it's a fun concept, it gave me some cool ideas, like I made a weenie restaurant and I made a nightclub, which I would never build otherwise. Except this random word generator is really weird, because it generates random words. For example, this one it just gave was reputation. So it definitely is a bit of a stretch to take inspiration from this for a Sims build, but I love this concept, and I want to build something silly again, so let's give it a shot, shall we? I'll link those last two videos down below, by the way, if you want to watch them. I'm kind of nervous about this. <laughs> let's just spin till we get something good, right? Extract. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? Teenager! Ooh, wait. We can make some sort of teen hangout. That's fun and useful for like actual gameplay. Okay, but what is it? Where do teens go? When I was a teen, my friends and I just went to the bookstore in the mall. And I'm not kidding. Like a wild night out was like going to the mall on a Friday night and hanging out in Barnes and Noble. And I'm not kidding. Slice! Wait, what? <laughs> I spun again. What if we made like a pizza restaurant that teens frequent? I'm just saying. Okay, that's fun. All right, let, let's make some pizza. Do you see? It's a good challenge. I wouldn't have decided to make a pizza restaurant today. And now look at me, making pizza. Maybe I'll do it in Oasis Springs too. You know, if we're feeling extra wild. Now I feel stuck. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I made a building inspired by Pizza Hut once. Should we make like dominoes next? Is that what we have to do? Okay, wait, this isn't bad. This is interesting. And we kind of have a window like this because we've got the new ones from Eco Lifestyle. We could maybe make something like this work. I don't know if we'll have a drive through in ours, but we can try and be inspired by like, you know, the panels. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I've got a vision in my brain. Okay. Sort of. We'll figure it out. It's fine. I'm going to leave this up though in a different tab because I need that. Let's game, shall we? Oh wait, step one. Hang on. Restaurant. Lot traits. Teen hangout. Oh, teen neighborhood. Same Thing. Maybe we can make it a chef's kitchen too. Doesn't really matter, but might as well. Rattlesnake pizza. <laughs> Forget the rattlesnake juice bar. We got rattlesnake pizza over here. This is so stupid. All right, let's build. How weird. It's on like a tiny foundation. And if I lower it down, you see it's like lowered into the ground. There's something weird with the terrain on this lot. I might leave it. It's kind of cool how it's got a tiny, tiny foundation. Now, obviously it's not actually going to be Domino's pizza. <laughs> it's just going to be a, a building and we're going to pretend. But we were taking inspiration from the exterior of that Domino's we saw. All right. <laughs> I oftentimes struggle with community lots because I feel like in real life, most places like this are just big, like, concrete boxes, you know? And that doesn't really fly in The Sims. Like, you can't just make a big concrete box and then call it a, a finished build because it doesn't look good in The Sims. And so I often really struggle with trying to figure out how to do that best. This is really bad. Hang on, let me delete all this. Let me try again. <laughs> but, like, think about what a grocery store looks like in real life, you know? A big concrete box. And then imagine trying to build that in The Sims. It just doesn't like compute. It doesn't work. Same thing goes for Domino's Pizza. Their restaurants in real life do not look good. Like I'm, I'm like I'm picturing my local Domino's. It's just a box. <laughs> it's not, it's nothing fancy. It would look horrible if I built it in The Sims. Like if I made a direct replica of it and put it in The Sims 4, nobody wants to see that. So anyway, I struggle a lot with doing community lots in The Sims because I just don't know what to do. This tends to be my default too. I know like this shape is a very classic Lil Sims look, so I apologize. I don't know how to do anything else. I wish that was flipped. Maybe that's better. I don't know. I can't tell. I like that though. I think that's kind of a cool vibe. We can try and make it all red and blue like dominoes. <laughs> oh, I like the red. That's fun. We can make this work. Fun. What if we did? That looks really bad actually. <laughs> Wait, never mind. I liked the idea of it, but in practice, I'm not so sure. Never mind. Delete it. I'm sorry. False alarm. No, should it have like white trim? That the trim on this window is kind of like a beige color. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Rattlesnake pizza is not turning out how I planned. That's way too much red. That is not the vibe. Like we, we simply cannot do that. <laughs> We could always put one wall down and just have it right there. That That's not so bad. I've always hated how annoying it is to get columns to do this because look, on the back side, I can show you, columns by default, you can't drag them up like this on the side. So what I had to do was put a half wall in there and then you can drag it up. But then I had to make this roof like fit the half wall perfectly, which isn't what I wanted to do, obviously. But it's not the end of the world. You can kind of see it clipping on the bottom there. Like you can see the brown trim, but it doesn't matter that much. We could always actually, we could just drag it all the way across the wall and then it won't look odd. All right, that's fine. That's fine. It works. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Okay, I know I want this building to have some like wood 
on it. I just am not sure what kind. <laughs> I'm definitely seeing myself use a lot of eco lifestyle recently, which is kind of fun. I really like this pack. Like it, it's definitely very much my style, like all of the stuff in it. Oh, that kind of works. Wait, that's really good. I kind of like that it has that gray on the bottom too. It adds like some more texture into the building because it's kind of bland at the moment. <laughs> See, none of these signs are like big enough. <laughs> none of them work. None of them are what I want. I think that's kind of what I want. Wait, I like that. What doors do we put now? Ooh, the door could be on. Wait, that's really interesting. How about that? Does that look super odd? I don't think so. Maybe if this was not, that could be white and it would still be fine. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay. I don't know what color to paint the rest of the building though. <laughs> I feel like I've made myself happy with just this one part and now I'm like, okay, it's done now. So I don't know what else to do. I want some plants up the side. We could probably put plants up the like entire side if we wanted to. Mm, that's too much. Never mind. Sorry. Just the three. <laughs> just the stripe is okay. That'll do. I still worry that it might be too much. I don't know why. There's something about the sign that's like not working for me and I'm not sure why. Do you want to step away and, and try and do the floor plan instead? I think the building needs to be like bigger. We can put the kitchen back here. Maybe these could be bathrooms. And then it's like a really big space on the inside for, for hanging out. What if, oh my gosh, wait, let me get some light so we can actually see on the inside because right now it is not possible to decorate this. But then what if we had, you know, those like game machines that come with get together, the giant enormous arcade machines <laughs> that you never thought you would ever have an excuse to use. We can have some ginormous arcade machines. They're both the same. <laughs> like there's no point in having two because they're the same, but like, your sims don't know that, so you can do whatever you want, right? I think that's really cool. I like the idea of that a lot. I still don't know how to finish the outside. <laughs> I'm like trying to put off painting the walls because I don't know what colors to use. Fine, fine, I'll mess with it. I think I want to use more eco lifestyle stuff. I really like these. I think they're really good. Wait, that's kind of cool. These are the bathrooms, so we don't need like a ton of windows or anything. I sort of like that. We could put a small window right there and we could put a tree in front of it or something so it's not as like bold. I like that a lot, actually. I really like that. <laughs> what else could the teens do? <laughs> what else can we put that the teens could use? Wait, the ping pong table's a fun idea. What if there was like some outdoor seating in the back too? I was gonna have this part off the kitchen be like a, I don't know, place for the trash cans or something, but we could always have like the dumpster on this side. And then back here, there could be another patio space with a ping pong table. <laughs> teens love those. You know, the teens. <laughs> I feel so ridiculous being like, what do teens do? What do teens want? Okay, wait, I've done something that might be a little bit wild, a little bit wacky. I don't know. I put it with blue. There's blue wood on this side and blue metal on that side. Domino's is red and blue. I just can't tell if I hate this or not. I think I kind of like it. I definitely like the idea of it. I just can't tell if it's like too busy or not. And if it's bad, you know what? Teens love color. That's what I've decided. So it gets to stay. I think we have to use that sign. I mean, it's a must, right? It matches with the red and blue too. It all works. It's coming together kind of. I kind of like it. Dumpster. There we go. It's going great. I hate, the dumpsters are so colorful. This this build's not that good. I'm sorry. I really am trying my best, just so you're aware. I really did try. I'm just not that good at building in The Sims. Wow, fancy. I put grass down. Oh no. Why do I kind of like that one? It's really busy. I, I don't think I should use that one. That one's boring. I don't know what to pick. Hmm. I always struggle with the concrete choices every time. Maybe that's good. That kind of matches the bottom bit of the wood, right? Yeah, yeah, that works. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> it's, it's really good, yeah. I'm not really sure how I want to go about this. I think I want to have relatively simple landscaping, but I'm not sure exactly what that means. <laughs> like, what does that entail? You know what? What if we used these island living plants a little bit? I don't know what color, even the white one? I'm trying to decide if it's unreasonable or not. I can't tell. I really never know like how much is too much with these things. I honestly sort of like that, but again, how much is too much? <laughs> that is the question. I don't think that's too much, but is it too little? I never know what to do. <laughs> I never know. I think I'm really happy with that. I think that looks really fun. I think I want the host station to be outside. Like in a perfect world, you'd come up and then talk to the person working there and then you'd get seated. I feel like I've been to restaurants like this before, you know, where the host station is outside. I wish that we had a third one that was like less like this. I don't know. I feel like the, the wood options are not the vibe for me. None of them work. None of them fit what I want. You know, I guess that one 
Mm, I don't I don't like any of them. Okay, that'll do. That's fine. Oh, how did the fairy lights fit in here? Oh, <gasps> perfect. Is that bad? No, that's too much. Like, we can't put it like that. What if we sized it down? No, that doesn't work either. I want to use the fairy lights, but I'm just not sure that it's... Maybe we could put them outside. We could, like, make this patio the perfect size for them if we wanted to. <gasps> it is the per- oh my god, wait. All right, that was on purpose. When I built this patio in the beginning, remember when I did that? Yeah, I made it the perfect size for fairy lights on purpose. It was it was on purpose the whole time. When I made the entire shell of the build, I was like, I gotta make sure we can have that back corner be the right length for fairy lights. It was, it was fully on purpose the whole time. I'm serious. I would never lie about that, ever. That would be ridiculous, okay? <laughs> I don't know what door to put out here. None of the doors are like reasonable because I don't want to have like a giant like doesn't that seem really out of place? I don't know. I can't tell. That's probably fine. I think I'm just being unreasonable. It doesn't look very good from the inside though, but what are you gonna do? I like this place. I think this is gonna be a cool restaurant when we're done. Maybe I should work on the inside now. <laughs> Maybe I should finally give it a shot. Oh, we can put a menu outside. Wow. <laughs> That's real fancy. Are you seeing this place? Wow. <laughs> the fact that I was like, I need to furnish, and then the first thing I did was go put a menu outside again. I just, I like the outside. It's finished, it's safe. The inside is spooky and it's daunting, and I, I just put like mirrored shelves and dining stations. I hate these metal counters. I wish that they matched. It's like a problem because you want to use metal ones to sort of fit the vibe, but the metal is wrong. And so it's almost like worse to use the metal counters because they're not the same. It's so annoying. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'll put a dishwasher in at least. Oh, we could probably use a sink. <laughs> I guess that would be useful. I think I'd really like to have booth seating. I feel like that makes a lot of sense for a place like this. I just don't know what I want the style to be like on the inside. That's why I keep putting it off so much because I just don't know what I want. Would it make more sense to have booths back here? No, the windows, Never mind. Never mind. sorry. False alarm, false alarm. <laughs> and should they be blue? These, these are the questions that I don't have answers to. Oh, that looks so ugly in person. Ew, okay, that's that's really bad in, okay, that's really ugly inside. We cannot use that metal with, that, with those doors. That looks so bad. <laughs> Trying to get like a little waiting area so that you can come here and wait for your food or wait to get seated at least. Maybe if we had a smaller door, if we use like that one instead. Oh, oh, ew, ew, ew. <laughs> ew. If we did it like that, how does that make us feel? The doors? I hate them. I hate this build. I don't know what color scheme I'm going for. <laughs> what if we had like a separate game room? off to the side and we put like carpet in it. You know that like arcade feel? And then we could have like colored lighting in here and stuff. I've changed my mind. I'm putting a bar down. I know this is a teen hangout, but this is um, they've got grape juice in it. Okay, it's grape juice, it's lemonade. <laughs> it's fine. That looks really cool, right? I know I'm a little bit biased because I'm the one that put it there, but <laughs> I kind of like it. I don't know what color scheme this is. I don't know what to do. I don't like how close together these chairs are. Like, I don't like this. <laughs> do you see what I mean though? Like this space, I know your sims can walk through it, but I'd rather it be a little bit more open than that. That's not unreasonable, right? To lay it out like this. What if I just put that there and then called it a day? Because it's a pizza restaurant. When I was in high school, people used to hang out at like Steak and Shake. This place is too fancy. <laughs> this is not, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so above the booths, I put some posters because I feel like for one, it's a teen hangout, you know? So I'm <laughs> trying to like make it less fancy in here. Not that posters of cow pants aren't fancy, but you know what I mean. I think I like that vibe a lot. And we can get some cool colorful lighting in here too. I think it'll come together. <laughs> I've got the vision. It's just taking me a second to figure it out. And that's the thing. I don't think I want to have a ton of ceiling lights. Like we already have those three and we're gonna put wall lights. Let me bring a sim here, hang on. I don't even know who this one is. Sure, you can come with me. I don't even know who these sims are. They're just like random sims that I've made in cast really fast so I could build something. It's like all the default sims. I think this sim is a mermaid <laughs> and she's working at the pizza place. I respect that. I can't tell if that's like too moody or not. I'm not sure. Ah. Make it dimmer. Oh, that's kind of fun. See, this would be really cool to come visit in real life. I'm just not sure if it's bad for The Sims because like dark places are kind of not good for screenshots. So that's why I'm kind of like, oh, is this worth it? I don't know. Okay, I put one ceiling light in here just because it was a little bit dark, but I feel like that's fine. I like it being dark. There's something about it that's kind of cozy. No, it's just bad, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. All right, I think I finished furnishing everything. There are some final touches I want to do. Like I finished decorating this room the little game room. I did the kitchen. We've got the bathrooms over here. I think I want some more interesting things on the patio. Like if we put some plants on the wall, maybe even like some seating. Oh, it's nice out here at nighttime. 
I like how you can see the arcade games through the window. I feel like that's gonna have some like fun ambiance too in real life because of all the colorful lights in there and stuff. I think this place is nice. I think it turned out all right. Let's do the menu. I wanna only serve pizza. I think that's my plan to just exclusively have pizza on the menu, at least as the main course options. I guess maybe pizza places have like pasta and stuff too, but sometimes it's fun to have a simple menu. <laughs> Spaghetti, Italian meatballs. That's reasonable, right? Well, maybe some salad. Hang on, I forgot about salad. I feel like most restaurants have at least one salad on the menu. Did I scroll past it all? Why have I not seen a single salad? Oh, are they only appetizers? Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. I didn't want any lettuce anyway. We could get breadsticks on the menu. <laughs> breadsticks, garden salad, Caesar salad. Honestly, salt and pepper shrimp cocktail, people like that, right? I don't eat meat. I've never, I haven't eaten meat in six years. I don't know, <laughs> I'd just eat the breadsticks if I came here. Okay, this is going well. I'm excited about this. I think we should change the name from Rattlesnake Pizza though, it's kind of weird. Sparkling, okay, sparkling water, coffee, fruit punch, lemonade, root beer float, soda. I never know how to pick drinks. Like, I, all these things to me, it's like, okay, I don't know, pick one of them. I don't, like, whatever. <laughs> Nothing matters. Iced tea. We could get some, like, a couple fancy drinks on there. That could be fun. Sure. It's great. Oh, we should have, like, a dessert theme, too. And, like, only serve one kind of dessert. There's, like, various ice creams. We could do pie. Maybe they only have pie. Fruit pie. Sweet potato pie. <laughs> Exotic fruit pie, apple pie. <laughs> What's what's a fruit pie? Is it just many fruits? Lemon meringue pie. I feel like banana cream pie. Okay, I like that. I think that's fun. This is a fun menu. Okay, I want slightly less fancy people working here. Like, we don't need to be dressed up that much, okay? It's not that complicated. It's really not that fancy of a restaurant. Like, it's okay. Well, all in all, I think it turned out pretty nice. I've definitely built this exact same thing many times. Can I just call it pizza party? I don't know. I think that's funny. That's fine. Everything is just fine. This whole build's fine. I made the description and say it looks fancier than it is, and I think that's true. Okay, I had fun with this. I definitely would not have built this today if I had not spun it on a random word generator. It's literally just randomwordgenerator.com, by the way. It's not, it's not fancy either. <laughs> <laughs> but on that note, I'm going to go. So please make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Now I want pizza. This is terrible. It's lunchtime. I'm hungry. I have to record like three more videos today and I still won't get pizza.